welcome to my youtube channel uh, today in this video i am going to explain about uh, different structure support description of structure support as you can see my today topic and uh, i'm going to explain uh, six of uh, structure sports today basically uh, i have just put them in a table uh, to explain uh, more clearly uh, for my viewers so we have first low, loose bearing loose bearing basically it looks like this and uh, we have a sport here and this is a, this line represent a beam and we have a line it means this beam only uh, can uh, cannot move in this direction in this direction but it can rotate and degree of uh, degree of freedom is like 2 it can go up and down i would say it can it can slide up and down and also it can rotate so that's why we have degree of freedom uh, to displacement and rotation rotation 360 degree and displacement uh, uh, it can slide I mean up and down and the second one we have pin bearing or hinged bearing so this one this one has in different countries uh, this sport has different names in, in some countries especially in Europe it's called pin bearing in other countries it's called hinge and basically this is an American standard I would say so in this one, uh, we, uh, this line represents uh, reaction forces. Basically, it can resist from horizontal and vertical. The degree of freedom is only one because it can only rotate at 360 degree. It cannot rotate uh, up and down vertically or horizontally. It can just rotate. It cannot slide basically. I mean, it is. it cannot slide. It can just rotate from the top. So the third one is a fixed bearing or clamped one. This is a fixed bearing bearing this one cannot move horizontally and vertically i would say x axis if you can just write it down this is x axis and y axis it cannot uh, move x axis and it also cannot move at y axis but it can resist the moment uh, as you can see it's written here degree of freedom is zero because it cannot move up and down it just can only resist and the fourth one is parallel bearing parallel bearing it looks like uh, something uh, you cannot have anything here i would say it's just a sport and this uh, line represents a beam this can resist moment and this cannot move uh, this cannot move horizontally but it can move up and down that's why we have displacement it can displace up and down so up up and down so that's why we have degree of freedom only one because it can i mean it can displace up and down and this fourth uh, fifth one uh, we have orthogonal uh, bearing orthogonal bearing or you can say orthogonal uh, sport is bearing sport is the same thing basically so in this beam, in, in this sport, it can uh, it can uh, uh, resist the moment and also it can go up and down. So because it, it can go only up and down, as you can see, the, it is empty space here, it means it can go up and down. So we have displacement, only displacement, we don't have rotation, it, it cannot rotate. And the final one is a friction, uh, friction bearing or sport. Friction bearing is something basically you have a plain area. And if you can have a, a big body or maybe a mass or whatever you have or maybe you have a box of a box of wood or whatever you can put on the ground and then you can see the mass the mass of that body is acting downward and the plain area it can be ground it can be table it can be anything it resisting resisting uh, that body upward so this is where is basically reaction uh, reaction and uh, is action and reaction is acting here so we cannot say any, we don't have any rotate, rotation or any displacement uh, in this board. So that's all uh, for today. Today, thank you for watching my uh, watching this video. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.